guys it's me again yesterday we had a freak accident um kind of sort of got rushed in an ambulance to the hospital we'll get into that so you know how like people have to do those for like storylines and stuff and just like yeah you want to find out stay or stay tuned in but right now i just got done on tiktok doing a live my hair is not cooperating i had a little oh ew i have this little hair right here that doesn't want to act right and i'm really tempted to cut it off but i'm just gonna finish up my edges i'll try to sit you guys down it probably won't be it probably won't mm, i guess we could do it like that so um i have absolutely no appetite after what happened to me yesterday I was supposed to go kayaking today and I was really excited about that and um, I'm still going. I'm just going to sit out and watch everybody else have a good time um, because I don't want to just be stuck in my hotel room by myself. Um, so I'm still going to go. But right now what I'm getting ready for is I'm going to walk to the coffee shop and see if there's anything that seems to be appetizing like i have a, a as a bariatric patient i have a gang of you know um what is it called vitamins and stuff that i have to take also like my iron is always super low so i need to take my iron pills and i have to have food with that so it's just like i can't move around in the same capacity as other people as far as that's concerned because although i'm not oh let me put on my let me put on my perfume although i'm you know not feeling a hundred percent i'm still going to have to try to eat something so that i can take my medicine and this is just one of the things that i um agreed with i guess um with having weight loss surgery is just one of those i need to stop saying um so much let me see if i can set you guys up here and this is just why i get my little tote bag ready and there's no lighting in here so it's just one of the compromises that you have to make with being a weight loss patient is just the fact that you're gonna have days where you know you sometimes like for the most part i would say in the last seven and a half months i felt good i'm gonna choose some gum just to make my body think that it's tricking into not thinking that it's hungry um oh in normal case circumstances if this were not the case, then I would just be like, yeah, I don't feel good. So, I'm not going to eat. But, I'm trying to like, decide if I want to put on sunglasses or not. But that's not the case here because my body depends on food in order for me to function in order for me to be able to take the right medicine so even though i don't want to eat i'm going to try to see if i can find like a protein shake or something something that i can like keep down because i threw up five times yesterday and it was awful so yeah we're gonna start walking friends bye
I was literally talking for like a good five minutes and realized that my video was not recording. So hey guys, it's me. I am now back in Arkansas and um, I posted some clips of the concert that we went to. It was Train. You know, the people that saying, hey, soul sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio? I'm not going to even attempt to try to sing it because I'm not trying to embarrass myself. Um, let me try to move past the scalp. But I'm at Chick-fil-A right now. I'm getting some tenders and some fruit and a unsweet tea. Um, yeah, so I wish I would have been able to like lead up into those clips like better and give you guys like an intro but everything kind of moved fast after that but we have such a good time in Cincinnati besides the fact that I almost died and went to a hospital which I still have to tell you guys a story about that so um yeah also 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 do we love this hair if you don't don't say that you don't because <laughs> this is a rhetorical question um, so this is a U-part wig. It's 26 inches. It's wavy and I got it from off of Amazon. I'll link it below, but I just feel like it blends so well with my hair. Now, when I wear this wig, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like I wear it for days because of the fact that the blend of having to get it to blend with my natural hair on top of just like the maintenance of it because it's curly hair you have to mousse it you need to tie it up at night i just don't want to take it off and do that every day so i'll wear this for a good week and i'll go to bed with it and i'll work out with it so yeah i'll link it down below for you guys i'm really happy with it though i really like it and it's good for summer time because you know our hair is curly and it's good to have something that just kind of like flows with your natural hair and stuff too so yeah uh what else did i have to like update you guys on um us getting home from cincinnati was a freaking nightmare hold on okay i'm back so it was a nightmare our plane got delayed like four times because of maintenance issues and by the time that happened everybody was like i don't want to get on that damn plane anyways so we had to wait for another plane that was coming into chicago that was also going back to fayetteville so we had to wait for that plane to come in and we didn't get home until like midnight we were supposed to get home at like six something it was just a disaster so um that happened uh i was just happy to see my babies and to see my puppy at that point and i just wanted to sleep in my own bed also it was kind of like salty this morning because this is the first week of school for our kids here and so it, this week has been kind of hectic and i got like a package in from shein i also ordered a bunch of stuff from amazon too and so um like i was excited to wear my new stuff and I just wanted to really do it up. Like I installed my wig. I got like some new clothes and stuff that are kind of like fall transitional. And I didn't, I wasn't able to do my makeup this morning because it was either do my makeup or do my hair or have the kids late for school. And I wasn't gonna have them late for school. But I feel like this is like a whole look, but I couldn't just put the whole look together because I couldn't wear makeup. But I have been on Spur, spirulactone spirulactone i can't pronounce it right my friend cat she knows how to say it and i don't i have been on that and um trent 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 to know when it starts with a t child i can't remember so i use the apostrophe app and i have a dermatologist through that for my skin and my skin has been glowing like i've been on spirulactone or whatever the hell it is i've been on that for now like four months for five months and trinanoin which is a topical that you put on at night too and my skin has been doing so well so it's just like are we really mad about the fact that we couldn't wear makeup today because we look pretty okay okay so i found a near empty parking lot that i could come and talk to you guys in um, so yeah, I've, I've been on this acne treatment for about four or five months now, and I've never really just had 
really bad breakouts but it's just like more hormonal and so my doctor i was originally taking like one pill of the spirolactone and then we upped it to a pill and a half so that's my new dosage and then when i get out of this trentinoin i'll go into like a little bit higher of a dosage for that one for my topical cream and after that i'll just be like able to stabilize and so that'll be good so yeah i'm looking forward to that <clears throat> also what's upcoming oh uh, so i mentioned a little bit of this like in the other vlog about going to a drake concert and so drake is going to be in nashville so i'm buying my tickets today my plane tickets and also my tickets for his concert so i'm buying those today i'm so excited about it i have all my outfits picked out and i also have them ordered because i put them all together at one o'clock this morning so yeah there's that a little update on like health wise on like working out so i have found that a lot of times like when i am on my cycle that i am just better off resting and sleeping when i'm on my cycle like it just takes the life out of me like i have no energy to do anything else on top of that like cramping and stuff and so i at this point in time i listen to my body and i don't push myself to just work out while i'm on my cycle i'm, I'm just not gonna do it there's times where i feel like it's like tapering off and it's just not you know as severe and i'm not like hurting as bad and i don't feel like as uncomfortable but i'm learning to listen to my body and saying like it's okay for me not to work out while i am just like not feeling up to it and so i'm not doing it um <clears throat> outside of that i'm just having like some chicken tenders and some fruit for lunch today today is not a day where i am just very hungry so it's going to be one of those days where i just more so have to force myself to eat i do want to make sure that at the very least that i'm hitting 80 grams of protein and that i'm hydrating myself so whatever that is that that looks like for me i'll make sure that i am doing that but i'm not trying to do 100 grams of protein i, I can do about 80 right now and that's just how it is when you have like bariatric surgery you have days where it's just like you are hungry a lot and you eat your five to six times a day and then there's times where i feel like i'm better suited at just eating three times a day and having three meals to where i i make 80 grams of protein and i'm good so this is one of those days and i think that i talked about it a little bit before i'm not sure but i am now seven and a half months post-op from having the traditional duodenal switch i am a size 10 and i weigh 200 and oh my god i don't weigh 200 oh my god i started off at 276.6 pounds i am now 174.6 pounds so i have lost 102 pounds at this point and i up until this point right I haven't actually known what my goal weight was because I'm four foot eleven. So hello to all the short queens out there. But I'm four foot eleven, and I've said this time and time again that my surgeon had this expectation for me to be 123 pounds, and I can't do that because I think that it would have me too small. I have a 16 year old, and she and I have the same size waist. <laughs> She's a size four. I'm a size 10 where we differentiate is in my hips and my thighs. And so, and she's also an athlete. And so, not saying that my goal is to be built like a 16 year old, that, that ship has sailed. But what I'm saying is she's three inches taller than me. And I can kind of see like on her, like similarities of like where we might, you know, look the same. 
And so with that being said, I would like to be for my goal weight between um, like 130 and 135, like somewhere in between there. And I'm cool with like even fluctuating up to 140. Like I'm fine with that. So that would mean that I still have around like 40 more pounds to lose. I'm not even at a year post-op just yet. And so I was trying to like explain to other people like, yeah, I am making sure that I'm meeting my protein goals. I'm making sure I'm moving my body. I'm making sure that I am getting in my fluids, but I'm just not about to go as hard. Like, you know how um, there's that clip of like, JT saying like I don't have kids I don't have to go as hard um my stance is now I've lost over a hundred pounds I am at a size that I'm comfortable at my goal size is between a six and an eight so I'm at a size to where I'm comfortable I'm still curvy and that was like a huge factor for me is just knowing that I was not going to be a stick which it's different strokes for different folks like if you are a straight up and down gal like we support you we love you that's just not what i wanted for myself i still wanted to be a curvy woman and seeing that i have been able to achieve that and still like just more defined and on a healthier body i just my goal right now isn't to just go so hard and like not and and keep myself from carbs or keep myself from having like a good time in order for me to just see the 15 to 20 pound you know loss truthfully truthfully if we're just gonna be transparent with having this tool if i wanted to lose 15 to 17 pounds in a month i could do that but that would require a lot of restriction on my part to where I'm not having carbs. I'm not enjoying like a drink every now and then on date nights and things like that. And I just haven't gotten this far in life with sacrificing to not be able to enjoy myself. And so um, I'm going to continue to work out. I'm going to continue to eat like I like I need to for to have like that good you know 95 healthy and five percent like things that are off of my plan and having that healthy balance with, with myself and I'll just share with you guys like what that looks like like I might eat completely healthy like for the whole week so like Monday through Friday and then on Saturday if I have a date night with my husband I'll eat all of my protein and then I'll have like a meal with him to where I might have a drink or I might have something that has carbs in it. And that to me is balance. Or I might do a Saturday and a Sunday to where I go off of my plan and then I start eating healthy again that next week. It just depends. Um, but I would say that right now I'm in a space of balance and I'm really enjoying that aspect of life. So, and I also just don't, my phone is starting to get hot. I also just don't weigh myself every day. I weigh myself now. I've gone from, which that was really unhealthy for me to do in the beginning, but I went from weighing myself every day to now I weigh myself maybe two or three times a month. And I don't do it during the time where I'm on my cycle. I make sure that it's not around that time because we carry a lot of water weight. And so what I've noticed is when I'm weighing myself like on a monthly basis now, since um, the weight loss is like tapering it off because at some point in time your body has to stabilize and you go from losing 20 pounds a month to like seven to 12. And so what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at, is the weight is going to come off regardless like i'm going to continue to do the things that i need to do and the weight is going to come off it's just about where you are in your journey if you have like your last 40 pounds that's left and you decide i'm going to go super hard in september and october to knock that off and that 40 pounds is going to be gone like that's great i'm just deciding that i want to just balance myself out and not have to do that um especially with us going to nashville for this concert and going to nashville for this concert 
and my birthday is happening my anniversary is happening we got christmas and thanksgiving and stuff coming up so i'll just prepare my body for those other holidays and, and things like that but yeah i'm pretty happy right now and things are going well at work for today i'm being able to clear out a lot of my emails so uh, that makes me very happy i'm trying to think of what else this vlog is going to have in it i know that i need to go get some new foundation and some new powder for my skin and a few other things but other than that i don't know we'll see we'll see where we go hi guys so i'm sorry for the noise of my dishwasher it's currently going and i don't know where my tripod is um fun fact when my husband cleans that means that a lot of my stuff just comes up missing but this man gives me a nice clean kitchen to cook in so i'm not going to complain and he's not feeling too well right now so i went to the store and got him some medicine and some gatorade and stuff because he's just not feeling good so i don't want to bother him and ask him a silly question like where's my tripod so right now i am making some tacos and i think i've told all this before but when it comes to me cooking for my family i try to hide as many vegetables in their food as possible and one of my favorite dishes to cook for them with a gang of vegetables and tacos so right now i'm throwing in my veggies so that they can saute a little bit and then after that i'll do my meats and I'll also show you guys like a what like I eat in the day, like what I'm packing for my lunch tomorrow. Cause people ask me for like ideas of what to cook, like healthy wise. And I know that that's something that I enjoy seeing, like especially on TikTok. I really enjoy like watching the girls that are like what I eat in the day to cook. And when they say they're cutting, they're eating like 140 grams of protein. Meanwhile, I'm over here struggling to get 80 grams. So, yeah, I really like watching those. But right now, I'm just, it's red pepper, yellow pepper, and some onions that I'm putting in here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pico in it as well. Um, so I guess this would be, and this vlog's gonna just be a little bit longer. Normally I try to stay at like the 20 minute mark at the most, but I just, I have a lot to discuss with you guys. Oh, lucky you. So, we can get into the story of, I don't want to say how I almost died because that's really dramatic, but that's what it felt like while I'm cooking this. So, okay. It was Thursday evening and I was in Cincinnati. And, you know, I had a massage that day. Everything was going so well. There's actually a vlog that's going to be up before this one that happened like right before I literally like take a turn for the worse. And so, I had a massage that day, I was relaxing. It was nice for me to have some me time while my man was in his like work meetings and stuff. So I was having a great day. Um, I even, there was like a, a Kroger that was in downtown. So like I walked to Kroger and got me some watermelon and everything. So I get back to the hotel 
and I take a nap and then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm going to call my sister. I need to pick out some outfits for um, the Drake concert and I wanted like her input as far as that's concerned. And so I was like, I'm just going to call her and I'm going to go downstairs in the lobby. If you guys follow me on Instagram, like, you know, the lobby of this hotel was just absolutely beautiful. Like, it was so pretty. And the couches had actual outlets so that you could, like, work. So I really enjoyed that. And I just like to be surrounded by really pretty things. So I was down there talking to my sister. I was making thumbnails, everything. And while I was talking to her, I was eating a bag of popcorn. Now mind you, I have been eating popcorn since they released like different textures. Typical like person that has had this surgery, they introduced carbs back in at six months. However, I work out a lot and because my energy levels were super low, we, me and my dietitian had a conversation about reintroducing carbs back a little bit earlier than what we had originally planned out and I was still, you know, losing well too and so it just carbs don't really like impact me that much. Healthy carbs, I'll put it that way. So yeah, I eat this popcorn, my stomach starts hurting so bad. It's just a pain like I have never experienced before. And I always go back to like I had three C sections. I had labor pains. I had weight loss surgery. I had a hernia repair and nothing, nothing compares to this pain that I felt. It was in my abdomen and I'm going to show you guys where it was. So it was in my, well maybe you won't be able to see it. It was in my abdomen and it was like here, my sides and like the middle of my tummy. And so, I managed to make it back upstairs. I'm on the phone with my sister still, and I just tell her, like, something's not right. I don't know what it is, but something's just not right. And so, I managed to make it back upstairs. I take some extra strength Tylenol. It's getting worse. Y'all, by the time I got upstairs to my room, I had completely just gotten naked because I had cold sweats. I had dry mouth, I had shortness of breath, and of course the abdominal pains. So all these things were happening and I really and truly felt like I was dying. And so at that point in time, God was like, man, you have got to call nine one one. So I called nine one one and the paramedics came. And um, I was up all the way on the 11th floor. And so they came up there. I was freaking out because once again, I'm in a city where I know, where I know no one. And my husband was at a work meeting. And so I had nobody, absolutely nobody. I was terrified. The first thing that went off in my mind was I thought that I had a bowel obstruction and it was just like a delayed complication from my surgery or I thought that I was experiencing dumping syndrome for the first time in seven and a half months and I was just like why would my body be doing this now like I haven't experienced it before now and also like I was eating off of my plan but I wasn't eating anything other than what like I would normally eat <laughs> when I'm not just doing straight um, healthy food. So they end up taking me in the ambulance. I get to the hospital. To make a long story short, I threw up five times. 
and once I threw up, I felt better. I felt so much better. So I throw up, the doctor comes in and he's like, hey, what did you eat today? And I said, I took him through what I ate and then we stopped on the fact that I ate sushi from Kroger. And my husband was like, you ate gas station sushi, Megan, like, come on now. So the sushi had expired. I had food poisoning. And that was really all she wrote. I will never do that again. That was the most excruciating thing that I have ever experienced in my life. So, moral of the story is, kids don't eat sushi from the supermarket. Not a good idea. So, I went back to our hotel, and after that, I slept from that night. I got up that morning for just to like use the bathroom and then I slept till 5 p.m. the next day. That's how much that whole situation wore me out. So yeah. It was not a fun time at all. But after that I was fine. Um they were having like this night where they were doing the food, like all these food trucks and stuff and I couldn't stomach anything. I, I would, I didn't do anything. So, that's how she wrote. Okay, so I am almost done with the popcorn. I'm just finishing up the meat and then I'm going to it. We'll have to find my tripod because if next door to the front room, I need to talk to you guys. We don't need a tripod. Okay, guys, so I will start off with showing you like layer one of my meal for tomorrow. I'm actually full tonight. I might try to do a yogurt. I don't know. I might. I'm pretty full right now and so I don't want to push myself to eat and like make myself sick but this is just some steamed vegetables that I have left over from yesterday and I could make my little taco with my tortilla that's like seven that's like zero carb tortilla and they're really cute and they're really small but I just I want to use up with these veggies that I have so right now I'm just putting some beef like on top of it and this is probably you know a good chance that this is going to be like breakfast and lunch because of how much I'm putting in there. So I start with a layer of the meat and then I'm going to add in some Fiesta blend cheese which is gonna be delicious. And I might need to add a little extra meat, honestly, so I can meet my protein goal. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of meat, a little more meat. Okay. So that's done. And then now I'm going to go in and I told you guys that I like really love pico. So I'm gonna take some pico de gallo and put it on top. So basically just doing veggies on top of veggies. So I'm not trying to have like a heavy carb day tomorrow. So this right here, let's say if we're guesstimating that that's like 15 grams of protein right there. And you have your non-starchy vegetables. So I'll have that tomorrow. And like I said, I'll probably have to divide it into two separate meals. And then I will have a protein shake and that's gonna be 30 grams. So maybe we're at like 45 right now. 
and then I'll do my yogurt and that's 12 grams so now we're at 57 grams and these are zero carb and they have 10 grams of protein did I say we're at 57 so now we're at 67 grams this is a good snack and then these are six grams of protein a piece. So these are 12 grams. So now we're at 79 grams, almost, almost to our minimum protein goal. So that's 79 grams. And then and then we have the sweet Thai chili. I really love this tuna pack and it is 14 grams of protein so now we're at 93 grams and we need to have we need to have 80 to 100 so we've we've met our protein goal now what i will do also is i will pack some watermelon and tahini and i'll have that as like my little treat i absolutely love it <laughs> so I'll pack that for tomorrow too. But yeah, that's, this is gonna be my whole meal of what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I mean, my whole like meals. So with that being said, when I cook tomorrow, which is kind of like how I am today, I ate so much like during the day that I was so full that once it becomes dinner time, I really don't have an appetite. And this is what happens quite often with me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here because it's mad long. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time, bye.